there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm here to report on my 10 months use of the iRestore hair helmet and this is my hair and many of you have been commenting in my videos that my hair has been looking good lately. I was going to say pretty good but people have been saying it looks fabulous and compared to me how I have been in the past this is pretty fabulous hair and I'll show you a picture of myself with my hair the way it used to be before I started the iRestore. I will say part of it is that I've learned to style my hair better but I was using the same styling gels, the same thickening shampoos in the before picture, and I was not able to get this kind of body. And I'm not saying that all this hair is from the Iris store, but when you take a look at my scalp, and I'll show you pictures in just a few minutes, you will really be amazed at how my hair has grown over time. And I'll get to those in just a few minutes, but if you're interested in looking your best in the latter years and in the earlier years too, if you're 30 and you like to know what a 60 plus year old does to help look his or her best, I guess that would be her best in, in this case, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. I have been using this since, well, it's been about 10 months, actually about nine and a half months but I'm kind of rounding it up to 10 months. I started back, I think it was August 24th when I started, and I was contacted by the iRestore people to see if I wanted to use this, and I really did, because my hair was thinning horribly. And I used to use a similar device, but it was just a laser band type device. And the problem with that is, and this is a weird problem, but I tended to get pigment on my forehead when I used that because something about the red light therapy does not agree with me, which is really sad because it's really good for most people's skin, but I don't know. I, I used tetracycline for like five years. It's a long story, but my skin is very sensitive to light and apparently especially red light. So I could not use the laser band device, although it was growing my hair, I have to admit it was. And so what I do is I use this and I won't put it on because I don't want to destroy my fairly good looking hair. But then I take this piece of blue construction tape and actually I've only had two of these the whole time I've used it. So I don't really use the sticky part. I just kind of put it on like this and I'll show you a picture if I can find it of how I look in it, which I look ridiculous, but this does tend to grow my hair. Well, it really grows my hair. And so I don't care if I look ridiculous when I'm using this. And I will tell you that this sounds like it is very intrusive into your life, quite honestly, because you have to use this 25 minutes and there's a timer and you can walk around. It's, it's easy to, to use, but 25 minutes every other day. And quite honestly, when I first learned that, I thought, gosh, am I really going to be able to do that? But for the past 10 months, I have used it every other day. Maybe I missed one day. Actually, no, that's probably not true. I missed two days because one of them was a couple of weekends ago when I went with my girlfriends to Table Rock Lake and I didn't want to embarrass myself by taking this with me. But pretty much I have used it religiously every other day. My husband uses it as well and he had great hair to begin with and he uses it very sporadically. But I think this is so good that I really can't stand the idea of missing a day. And I will show you my results in just a few minutes. But before I get into that, I do want to clarify one thing. And that is that 10 months ago when I did my iRestore introductory video to show you the iRestore, I was starting it out and I thought I was going to be able to derma roll my hair and use Rogaine and also use this blood pressure medicine called spiralactone, which supposedly grows hair. And it's good for if you have high blood pressure and I have mildly high blood pressure. I don't need to be medicated for it, but mildly high blood pressure. And Dr. Dre mentioned that the spiralactone can help with hair growth. And so I thought I'm going to throw all the big guns at this. I'm going to use the Iris store. I'm going to use the derma roller. I'm going to use the spiralactone. Well, I used the derma roller for about five days and I hated the Rogaine. I had to use it every night and I only washed my hair twice a week. So every morning I would get up with greasy looking hair. It just was horrible looking. And I did that for about five days. Plus quite honestly, I worried that using that little derma roller that has the little spikes in it was actually going to cut off my hairs. So I just wasn't comfortable doing that. And then with the Spiralactone, I was yet again, one of the rare people who gets side effects. I started to get shortness of breath within about three weeks of using it. And at first I thought I had COVID quite honestly, because it was like, <gasps> and I thought there's something wrong with this picture. And I went and got a COVID test. I did not have COVID. I went to my doctor and he said, Beth, you cannot use the spiralactone. So, so all of my results are totally from the iRestore hair device. 
they, they don't want me to call it a hair helmet, but it looks like a helmet to me. But the iRestore laser therapy device, and quite honestly, they also sent me the shampoos, and I did not use their shampoo and conditioner. I started it out, but I really like my thickening shampoo and conditioner, which is the Kenra Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner, and I really do like that, and I've used it for several years, so I did not want to stop that. One thing I did use religiously, though, is their vitamins, and I don't have it with me. I'll try to show a picture here, but it is their Saw Palmetto DHT Blocker Supplement for your hair growth, and apparently something about having too much DHT or testosterone in your system can give you bald patches, and I was getting bald patches, so I really swear by that particular supplement, and I've used it the whole time, really, really like that. Okay, let's get into what you've been waiting for and what I can't wait to show you because, you know, some videos are, you know, fun to do, it's kind of interesting, but when I have great results to show you, I get really excited about it. Okay, first, let me show you the hairline here all, all along the front, and there I am, August of 2020, that was actually 8-24-2020. And as you can see in the before picture there, I've got a little bald patch that's right there in the front. And it's very thin along the hairline. Then at the three month picture right there in the middle, I'm starting to get lots of little baby hairs in there, which really excited me at that time. That was November of 2020, just before the Christmas holiday, around Thanksgiving, I guess. And then here I am a couple of days ago, and look at that hairline. All of those little baby hairs have grown in and become more full-size hairs. It is thicker along the top. I really think it is. I'm not seeing my bald head there, which is really wonderful because I was getting scared because I was getting so many little bald patches all over my temples and also up there. And then on the sides there, you can see that it looks like maybe the hair has gotten thicker over each of the pictures. And in the last picture, it looks rather full in that last picture, which I am really, really excited about that. And I will tell you that this is a journey and it does take a long time. They say it can take five to six months to show results. Well, I had a, an extra challenge a month in, which they probably don't want me to tell you about, but it is part of the experience. And that is that I used it for a month. I was really excited about it. And then I noticed that that little bald patch that I started out with here had gotten larger after the end of about a month. And let me show you that picture. And there I am. And as you can see, I was starting to lose a lot of hair there, and I was totally freaked out about that. And I emailed Sierra, who is my contact at iRestore. She said, Beth, I am sorry about that, but that does happen sometimes, especially early on. And she said, basically, the red lights, and there are, I can't remember, like 280 red lights, a lot of red lights here. It's an intense amount of red lights. It has like 280 red laser lights in there. And what they do is that they increase the cycle of growth of your hair. It causes everything to speed up. Your hair cells start pumping out the hair more. But unfortunately, if you're about to undergo a shedding phase, which does happen, then it also hastens that up. And that was apparently what was happening at that one month point. And what Sierra said is, Beth, you know, we recommend that you keep going through that because we really do see people that have that problem. They have shedding at first, but then the hair comes back in thicker and fuller than ever. And she said, if you stop now leaving that hole there, we can't guarantee that the hair will come back. So I felt I really had no choice and it was very hard to do when I was seeing my hair fall out a little bit in the first month but I did go ahead and carry on with that, and now I am so glad I did. So let's take a look at some of my temples at the sides of my hair. Here is a look at my right temple, and there is my before picture, and as you can see, the hairline looks pretty sparse there, and I called it my televangelist hairline because I kept going further and further back. That's the before picture, and then three months in in November, I was actually very thrilled because I'm getting a lot of tiny little hairs growing in there, just like I was on the front picture. You can see them coming in on the sides there. But here I am seven months after that middle picture, a couple of days ago, and look how thick that hairline is. It has really thickened up. Of course, it still looks a little thin on the temple, but it is not anywhere near as thin as it was before. And I am really, really happy with that all growing in so much more thickly. Okay, let's take a look at the other side. It wasn't quite as good as the right side, but it was pretty good, I think. And there is a look at my left side in the before picture. And as you can see, it's a little sparse there along the hairline. And then in the middle, after three months, I'm starting to get in quite a few little baby hairs there. And then two days ago, as you can see, the hairline has really thickened in. 
there's still a little bit of a patch there, but that does not really bother me. I just feel so much better from looking at the before picture to the after picture. It is like I have gone from looking like a little old lady who is starting to lose her hair to a much younger person, at least in terms of the hairline, because it looks like my hair is really filling in. And I also did one other thing, which is kind of a little woo-woo, but you know me if you followed my channel that I am a woo-woo kind of a girl. Well, my friend Terry that comes over a lot of Sunday mornings, her best friend Candy lives in Los Angeles and we're in Kansas. And one Sunday morning, Candy was in town and she came over to my house and she is my age, early 60s, I would say, Candy is. And she has like gloriously thick hair. And I said, oh my gosh, she has blonde hair just like me or dyed blonde hair, but much thicker even than I have. But it is like, you know, like sprouts. It goes up and out. I mean, it's like really good set of hair there. And she said, well, Beth, it's actually fallen out. It was even thicker when I was younger, but she had great hair. And so that reminded me that even when we're up in our 60s, we can have great hair that some people do. And so what I did is every morning I have a set of visualizations that I do about various things, about my health and about some other aspects of my personal life, things I want to improve there. And so I added the fact that I was going to really increase my hair growth and have thicker, fuller hair and get rid of those bald spots. I didn't mention that in my, in my visualization that I wanted to get rid of bald spots because then you probably create bald spots but I would just mention that I see myself having thick, full, wonderful hair. And who knows if that helped. I'm sure it was really the eye restore mostly, but you know, every little thing helps. So anyway, those are all the things I have done to increase the growth of my hair. And I could not be more pleased with this little unit. And it's so funny, you would think that you wouldn't want to do this every other day, but I've just made it a normal part of my routine. It is portable because I've got the little portable device. You can hook it to your belt and walk around totally portable away from plugging it into the wall, something like that. But it's just kind of relaxing when I'm praying and meditating in the morning. That usually takes me about 20 minutes anyway. So every other day I just put this on my hair along with this. I know that's weird. But anyway, that is how I handle it. But I actually look forward to this because it gives me a little bit of relaxation time. And if you're like me and you watch a lot of YouTube videos, that is a great thing to do when you're sitting using the red light therapy device. Okay, that is a look at my 10 months results using the iRestore and I could not be more pleased. If you have used the iRestore, then I hope you will share the information about your experience with it in the comment section below the video. Or if you've used anything that has caused your hair to thicken up and caused you to lose your bald patches, then I hope you will share that as well. Oh, and one more thing I need to mention is, I don't want any of you to take my advice and then lose money. I, I really don't. My name and my reputation is very important to me. And I only back things that I truly believe in that I truly believe will benefit you. But they have said the hair helmet does not necessarily work for everyone, but they are so sure that it works for the vast majority of people that they give you a one year money back guarantee. So you can use it for a year. And if you don't get the good results, then please just return it for a refund. There are no questions asked. They really do want you to be happy. And if your experience is like mine, I think you'll be thrilled. And for me personally, I will never quit using this device because I was getting very scared that I was losing my hair. There's something about our hair, they call it our crowning glory, and you know, I never felt like I had great hair. I never did have great hair, but I had hair. And it was really, really scary to me when I started getting the bald patches and my hair got thinner and thinner and thinner. It's so funny because my husband, maybe about four times, and my husband never compliments me on my hair, like ever because you know, I never really had great hair. And maybe in the past month or two, every now and then I'll say, man, your hair looks wonderful. It looks fabulous. And I have to admit that for me, this is pretty fabulous hair. And that alone just is worth it for me and makes me very happy. Okay, that was a look at my 10 months results. And hopefully I'll bring another video to you down the road. However, I really am not confident I'll have much better results because I just think my results so far have been wonderful. If I keep this level of hair growth and hair thickness, I think I'll be very, very happy. Okay, again, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things that help us look and feel our best in our second half, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you an email of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that too. 
Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And if you followed my channel, you know how important my sun protection is to me. I consider myself almost allergic to the sun. And I know people say, oh, a little bit of sun doesn't hurt you. You need it for the vitamin D. Well, I take vitamin D supplements and I do not like to be out in the sun. I have a UV umbrella that I often use. I have UV gloves that I use when I'm driving. I wear sunblock every single day, but it is so funny. I went on a girl trip with my junior high school girlfriends two weekends ago to Table Rock Lake and we had a fabulous time. It was absolutely wonderful. We were on a boat. We were dancing on the boat. We ate great meals together. But one of my friends is Laura, and she now lives in Austin, and she is a glam girl too. She and I are kind of like peas in a pod with that. We are kind of glam girls, and she feels just like I do about the sun, and listen to a great tip that she shared. We go down to the coast a lot. Yeah. And you get sun and you can put sunscreen here. Yes. But it's still, you know, it's not foolproof. Yeah. So I always take a bandana, a cotton one, and I just tie it like this. Love it. So it protects my neck. Now if I have a t-shirt on, then I roll it like this. Yes. To protect my neck. Oh my God, that is so good. If and I have a t-shirt, you know, that doesn't, isn't scooped yeah. down. But if I have a tank top on or something, wow. I wear it like this. And this is my friend, Laura Nelson. And look how darn darling she looks. And she says <laughs> nothing matches, but she's just so darn cute. We're going to the lake. Laura, thank you. That's a great oh, sure. tip. She thank lives you. down in Austin where she has yeah. to fight the sun. And she's yes. just like me. She kind of is allergic to the sun in her mind. That's how I feel. Yes. It's like, keep it so off me. We're spending thousands of dollars to get rid of the sun damage from when we used to use baby oil and iodine absolutely and moon blankets well thank you laura for that wonderful tip i really appreciate it and so just for today i hope you'll take your sun protection seriously take care and i'll see you in my next video